What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has finally started rolling out the One UI 8 Beta 3 for the Galaxy S25 series. As you can see the change clock here, Samsung has fixed many bugs on the One UI 8 and they have also added a new feature. And as you can see, the size is over 1 GB, it's 1162.66 MB. Security patch is June 2025 and the version number ends with ZYFA. And in the change log, you can see there are many bugs which have been fixed. Fix the overlap issue between the status bar of the recent app and the running app menu in specific status of Nav uh, Navstar. Fix the issue that the keyboard input occur only when reboots on the security folder pin input screen. Improve the issue that intermittently lengthen loading time when entering more routine menu. Fix text input swipe to type error using gesture on keyboard screen. And they have also fixed text input error with S Pen. S Pen to text feature. And the notable change here is added back screen preview to laboratory. This particular feature screen preview was made available by Samsung some time ago and uh, that was of course on One UI 8 beta and then it was taken down and now on beta 3 we have got this feature back. We now have screen preview feature in lab. All you need to do is just go to the settings, tap on advanced features and then tap on labs. Here you will see this feature back swipe preview. It shows a preview of the screen you will go back to when you start swiping from the edge of the screen. As you can see here when you enable it and when you swipe from the edge of the screen on the settings menu, you will be able to see the previous screen. It's kind of a sneak peek into what you are going to look at when you swipe back. But I'm not very sure about how useful this feature is. Let me know in which way would you prefer using this feature. Do you think this has to be implemented even on the third party application? Drop a comment and share your thoughts. So yeah, we now have back swipe preview on the One UI 8. And as you can see, the animation and the transition is just fantastic. It actually feels good while using this feature. When you swipe back and stop halfway, you'll be able to see the previous screen. When you swipe full, you get to see that nice transition effect or let's say animation effect, which look beautiful. It's pleasing to the eyes and it's nice to use it. But in terms of how useful it is, that is definitely a question mark. Now, apart from this, you can also see in the change log, it says software stabilization through updates to many applications and many other improvements. Now I have already updated the phone and I did test the phone. It is running smoothly. I did open a few applications, quick panel and notification panel. I did not notice any lags or stutters as such on the device and it is running very, very smoothly. And I hope that is the case with you guys as well. Now I didn't really get enough time to dig deep into this particular update because I'm currently traveling. Uh, that is why you are seeing some random backgrounds in the videos and even the audio may not be that clear, but I really wanted to make these videos and post them so bear with me for a few more days i will be traveling for uh, almost about a week and i will be out of my studio so i will be recording some of these features in some random places <laughs> so just bear with me and about the audio as well you may not get that crisp and clear audio that you usually get on my videos and yeah of course that will be only for about a week's time from now anyways now this is the update that we have received on the galaxy s25 series i was actually waiting for the adaptive lock screen clock which we discussed in one of my previous videos one of the recent test builds did get that feature where the clock will adjust itself on the lock screen wallpaper depending on the subject uh, the subject outline when you move the clock around it will adjust its size and shape which is a pretty cool feature and i don't see that feature working on my galaxy s25 ultra here but yeah like i said i'm yet to dig deep into this update which i will do in a couple of days and keep you guys posted if there is anything else that is new here so stay tuned for those videos that's about it that's all i wanted to share with you guys in this video i hope you have already subscribed to the channel become a part of apex community to stay updated with everything that's happening with your phone hit the like button let's target at least a 500 like or let's say 1000 like for this video go ahead smash the like button i would really appreciate that you guys take Take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.